Hello friends, this is our question where x and y are whole numbers. Let's solve for x and y. Question is 3x square minus 3y square is equal to 75. Taking 3 common. Divide by 3 both the sides. So this 2 get cancelled out and here we have 25. So we have x square minus y square is equal to 25. Now we will apply the identity of difference of squares. So it will be x plus y times x minus y is equal to 25. Here, x plus y is greater than or equal to x minus y. In relation with left hand side, 25 can be factorized as 25 times 1 and negative 1 times negative 25 and 5 times 5 and negative 5 times negative 5. Here x and y are whole numbers. Whole numbers means all positive integers including 0. So we will not consider the negative factors of 25. So we can consider two cases. This is case 1 and this is case 2. Let's take case 1. So our equation is x plus y times x minus y is equal to, we can put 25 times 1. Now we can compare x plus y is equal to 25 and x minus y is equal to 1. Let's add them. So we have 2x is equal to 26. So x is equal to 13. Let's put this value in this equation. So 13 plus y is equal to 25. So we have y is equal to 25 minus 13. So y is equal to 12. Now let's take case 2 which is 25 is equal to 5 times 5. So x plus y times x minus y is equal to 5 times 5. So we can compare x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 5. Add them. So we have 2x is equal to 10. So x is equal to 5. Putting this value in this equation, so it will be 5 plus y is equal to 5, y is equal to 5 minus 5, so we have y is equal to 0. Now for case 1, we have x and y is equal to 13 and 12. And for case 2, we have x and y is equal to 5 and 0. Now let's verify the answers. Our equation is, now let's take case 1. So we have 3 times x is equal to 13 square minus 3 y is 12 is equal to 75. These two get cancelled out and here we have 25. 13 square is 169 minus 12 square is 144 is equal to 25. Now let's take case 2. So it will be 3 times 5 square minus 3 times 0 square is equal to 75. These two get cancelled out and here we have 25. 
so 5 square is 25 minus 0 is equal to 25 now if we consider x and y belongs to integers then the answer would be x y is equal to plus or minus 13 and plus or minus 12 and x and y is equal to plus or minus 5 and 0 you can try these answers yourself that's it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe we will meet in the next one bye bye